My name is Julius Rosenberg. I was born May 12, 1918 in New York City. I grew up in a Jewish family in the Lower East Side. As I grew older, I attended CCNY College. After graduating, I received a job as an electrical engineer. In 1939, I got married to Ethel Rosenberg. Years later, I have been blessed with two children to raise together with my lovely wife. My wife and I have been accused of being a part of the Russian government working as a communist spy in America. The claims against me say that my wife and I have infiltrated the U.S. government activities and had shared secret information about nuclear weapons and atomic research with the Soviet Union through the Communist Party in America. I am innocent because I am not a part of the Communist Party, nor have I been involved with Soviet spies sharing information with Russia. I do not have bad intentions of endangering my country with people who despise our way of belief to run America. I do not think I should be accused of being a communist. I believe you are only trying to protect the country by investigating everyone in America, but I think that the evidence you find on me is preposterous. You are only trying to destroy the lives of people who are innocent. In the end, you give people bad assumptions of the men and women on trial for doing nothing wrong. I tell you that I am innocent until proven guilty and no further accusations should be placed until this trial is over. I shall answer one more question for you, and what is that? Should Soviet spies be sent to death for such a crime like this? In my words, yes. They have betrayed our country, our people, and our president. They have endangered us all by their foolish acts of working with the enemy. If I saw or heard about someone I know who did this, then they are no human to me. I say death is the only punishable way for them to receive. After they die, God will be the ultimate judge as to whether to bring them to heaven or hell for their sins they committed here on earth. I say that would be horrible to face if they were put down in hell rather than sit in a cell for so many years until they grow old. I will now use the Fifth Amendment to not speak any further because I have a right to remain silent since I am an American citizen. My name is Ethel Rosenberg. I'm a mother of two beautiful boys, ages 6 and 10, and an aspiring actress and singer. I have been accused of involvement with a spy network that stole American atomic secrets for the Soviet Union. I should not be sentenced to death as there has been little evidence of my direct involvement. There is no documented proof that would prove anything but my innocence. No sentence is appropriate for a case with no evidence other than my relationship with my husband. I am innocent until proven guilty. There is nothing more un-American than turning on such a fundamental principle such as that. Take an example from the Nuremberg Trials, with pe people facing crimes against humanity. The court's final verdicts were 12 for death sentences, 3 for life imprisonment, 4 got lengthy jail terms, while 7 out of 19 people were left off easier for arguably worse crimes than I am being accused of. I'd like for everyone to also take into consideration what I've previously stated. I'm a mother with two sons who need a parental figure to look after them and care for them. They're only six and ten. What person would sentence a mother to death for a crime in which they cannot prove involvement? Think of your own children, how much they rely on you. I urge you all to wonder what could happen to your own children if they were left on their own. If I, a mother, being accused, <laughs> sentenced to death for a crime in which my involvement has not been proven, then I demand you all to take a closer look into your own un-American act actions and motives. Let my words stand forever against a government that to this very existence denies a mother the most basic of human rights. I will not stand for a government that won't stand for people. Order in the court, gentlemen, order in the court. 
My name is Irving Kaufman. I am the judge of this case. I will be maintaining the order of this trial and ultimately determining the sentence of the prosecuted. I have been asked if the death penalty is a just punishment for the Rosenbergs and other spies convicted of espionage. Having considered the testimonies of this trial, I have deducted that the Rosenbergs' loyalty and alliance is not to our country, but to that of communistic Russia. Snobel and Julius Rosenberg, classmates together in college, dedicated themselves to the cause of communism. This love for communism and the Soviet Union soon led them to join the Soviet espionage spy ring. Julius Rosenberg, your actions speak for themselves. I see no alternative than to sentence you to death for your disloyalty to this country in the form of espionage. Miss Ethel Rosenberg, for likewise associating and aiding Mr. Rosenberg, your husband, will suffer, shall also suffer death for espionage. Finally, Mr. Morton Snobble, Though your crimes of espionage disgust me, there is no evidence against your involvement with the atomic bomb. Therefore, you will receive a 30-year prison sentence, the longest permitted by law. In my mind, the crimes that have been committed by these three individuals are worse than murder. I believe your conduct, which put the A-bomb into the hands of the Russians years before our best scientists predicted Russia would have a perfect bomb, has already caused, in my opinion, the communist aggression in Korea, with the resonant casualties exceeding 50,000. And who knows how many millions more innocent people may pay the price for your treason. In closing, I would caution all to consider calmly the choices we make and the voices we heed. Let, our, let us examine our loyalty and, and discern where our motivations are fostered. This is a time of extreme hardship, and I would encourage us to keep our eyes and ears open to those who might have loyalty in un-American causes. Thank you for all in attendance. Meeting adjourned, case closed.